Hello and welcome to my channel. I received that microwave oven today and I want to show you some tips how to scrap this for a quick and easy money and uh, let you know is it really worth to scrap a microwave oven. Let's take it apart. This is the back side of it. As we see, we do have a nice little core over here. Cut this off. Like that. And also, I'm gonna take this away. We don't need that. A little bit adjusting my camera and we have a for a great start a nice copper wire it's okay and this is a uh, scrap steel just gonna bend it like that and put it aside well, let's see what do we have here. Yeah, we have a small circuit board with a relay on it. We have some uh, uh, copper wire. We can uh, find some switches here. That does uh, contain also a uh, uh, silver. Not much, but a little bit. The main thing we are after is that transformer. Uh, there is a capacitor in here and a fan with the copper coil as seen in here and uh, there is a magnet thrown or how it's called it's quite dangerous thing to scrap because uh, it contains uh, hazardous materials so uh, I personally uh, do not want to scrap that but anything else we can do I'm gonna remove this foam and let's see what what we're gonna scrap next I will think we're gonna take those screws out of here I'm trying to uh, keep every piece of uh, metal I do get because I want to uh, weigh every material, even the plastics, uh, when I'm done with that scrap to see exactly how much money we can make out of this uh, old microwave oven. So I'm going to put those here and I'm going to just open those cable, cable strips and get rid of that firstly now let's see I'm going to cut them off from here Here is not much wire, but uh, you definitely definitely want to keep them because it it still does contain uh, copper. What do we have here? Let's just and uh, here in Finland, where I currently live, it's about uh, one euro per kilo. And let's take those things apart. Now 
Now we will be able to get out this fan and and that little circuit board. Oh, stuffs are flying all over the place. Well, let's get this board. Okay, you don't want to come out like that. So we do it manually. I want to take this coil over here. Gonna take this off. We have some copper here, and I want to take this relay because uh, it contains uh, silver coated, silver plated uh, uh, contacts. They come like. Like this, and yeah, okay. For a quick peek, as you see, that shiny part over here that's a silver contact, and I believe it is all the way through silver contact. Well, uh, we have this capacitor over here. It's still attached. Yeah. Uh, this is a quite dangerous thing. Uh, some scrapyards might take it, some may not, because there is nothing much in it. So I'm, ju I'm, I'm just gonna take this uh, scrap steel out from here and. Uh, this goes like a uh, uh, dangerous waste. I cannot throw these things uh, in my uh, trash bin uh, because they do not belong to uh, ordinary uh, household uh, uh, waste. It's a uh, electronic waste and it's a uh, hazardous ha hazardous waste. Uh, so I'm gonna put this thing from my side. And here's some piece of steel. It goes over here. And let's see. Let's take this transformer out of here. All right. We got our main thing. Main thing out of here and uh, we'll be coming back to it just in a little time trying to get this one here we can have a one uh, small size electric motor and we will take those wires off and this insulation and we have some we have a little electric motor as well all right now what else do we get here Does contain metal. Use it. Where did it go? All right. And this is also steel. Can I put this on the side? I have some glass plastic that goes as a regular waste. We don't need that. We do not. We do not get any money out of it, so let's take these things apart from here. Of brass, but because it contains uh, hazardous materials, so I would rather not uh, deal with them. 
you can take it out yes quite safely but as you see here is this is the brass brass here but you do not wanna break this ceramic here uh, I don't know how much there is truth inside here but I have heard and uh, I have done some research that uh, if you break this uh, inside here there is something that is quite hazardous so uh, I'm not gonna do that here are some magnets uh, here is some aluminium and I'm gonna leave it just like it is and I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna take it further apart from that from that point well goes as a scrap metal so let's see what else do we have here also scrap metal steel this thing over here we want to take this off Will you come? No. Doesn't want to go. All right. Maybe you don't. Yeah, we'll pop out. Let's see what we have here. Oh, some plastic. And uh, if I take this off, I believe it's. Can we take this? No. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to cut this one. Yeah, that's better. Well, we are left with the uh, empty microwave bucket. Oh, I can take this one. Yeah, I can do it. Uh, I like to uh, take apart as much uh, non-metal parts uh, I can because I if if I if I take my uh, scrap material to scrapyard uh, I want it is uh, as much uh, pure as it can be as I mentioned earlier so why these things are uh, quite good to keep I do have here as you see scrap metal, uh, scrap steel and I have here a, uh, a smaller pieces of uh, scrap steel these are from uh, transformers and now this is like a pocket and I can just put them right here and I have also here, one pocket. Now I can fill them up with scrap steel. This is from an old cassette tech player. Just like that. there you have it now it weighs quite a lot here is a fan motor and uh, I'm gonna clean this mess up and I'm gonna come back when we're gonna strip that uh, transformer and that 
fan motor over here. Well, now I have cleaned up all my workspace, uh, workplace, and um, if I'm gonna take this transformer now to bust open, I wanna be wearing my safety glass because it needs a bit hammering, and I'm gonna tell you why, and also clothes are good to use I'm gonna take my hammer let's see this one should be okay and as you see it's welded from here and here and also from another side you might want to turn your headphones or volume down because it might be quite uh, loud noise let's try it again As you, see, as you see, it's uh, gonna break right now at this point. Feel nice smacks with hammer, and you're gonna get it open. Now we wanna get these coils out, but as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we don't know yet if these are copper copper coils or these are aluminium or copper or aluminium and aluminium uh, from that color I would say these are both copper because they look so dark and we can take a file and just check it oh my god I was wrong. It's aluminium. It's white. Okay, but I, I have still hopes that uh, this one might be copper. I, I really hope so. I'm not sure anymore. But we have to see it if it is that would be very disappointing if if that is also a uh, aluminium This is a copper one. I can see it's pinky, pinkish, pinkish color. Well, yeah, let's let's get some more tools. I need these guys. crack it open it is quite uh, tightly between here but if you already get it on move so they should be able to uh, come out quite easily at least that is what I hope
it is much easier if it's between between the wise but uh, maybe all don't have a wise so I'm just gonna go with by hand so just to show you how it's done by hand and tools like that well that's yeah, I I can tell it by a way that it is a aluminum aluminum coil. So and uh, it 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 really does not weigh much. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Uh, maybe around two one hundred and fifty or. 200 grams or something like that, I guess. But we can figure it out quite quickly. Yeah, nearly 200 grams. Yeah, not much. Take these ones. Try this to get there. Uh, this one? No. There is some scrap steel or iron. This goes as a wire. And now we should be able to get this off. I'm going to give some few bangs around here. I was struggling with that uh, secondary coil in here. Uh, as you saw before in the video, I quite managed to get this out quite easily from here with the two or three screwdrivers, but the last one, the copper coil, doesn't want to give up so easily. So what I did, I uh, smashed with my hammer here and those uh, metal sheets become too loose. And I'm trying to now continue with that. I'm sorry for the, for the loud noise. much easier to take these things off. says that copper coil and it feels heavy it really is heavy this is aluminium coil it's a it's a primary as shown on here it's a yeah it's it's a primary it's a aluminium it's a 182 grams uh, there is a contamination but uh, it's okay and uh, the secondary coil is copper, as shown in here. Wow, it's 466 grams. I'm going to scrape it 
right here. So it's visually better and I'm gonna file this one. And as you see the difference, this is like silverish, or you know, and this is pink. That's copper, that's aluminium, and that's really, really light, lightweight, and this is heavy, heavy, heavy piece. Now we have stripped out those two, we're gonna put those on the side, and Let's see how we can take this coil out of here. Uh, we need some uh, proper tools for that. And I do have ones for here and a, uh, I'm gonna take these ones. Those should, should work quite well. And if we try to bend it, let's see. should come. I have done this quite many times, but I don't remember. Yeah. This is how it came off. Well, this is uh, scrap steel, uh, and then there's this inner piece. I'm trying to get this out. It came quite easily, and now we are left with uh, uh, copper here. Now, what I want to do is a. Uh, uh, Get rid of one side of oops, sorry, that uh, plastic. Uh, this is why I'm wearing safety glasses because if I'm gonna do uh, things like that, uh, those plastic pieces are gonna fly all over the place, and I do not want that any of them uh, end up in my eyes. So, that being said, let's continue to get rid of that plastic edges here. Well, uh, now I can just lift all this over here, but those uh, inner uh, uh, inner inner wires will stuck at uh, some point in here, but that, that that's not a problem. We can just pull this away from here. Now we are, yeah, that just broke, no, not. Now it did, and we will gonna get that last piece here as well. Now, and this is what we got from that uh, fan motor, just gonna squeeze it like that. And we do have a nice, nice small little uh, copper wire ball. It, 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 it doesn't weigh much, but uh, Copper is quite a tense metal, so 
Uh, it adds up quite quickly if you keep collecting those small amounts. And so we have this one here. Uh, we want to take this uh, plastics and other stuff out of the way so we can leave here as much pure copper as we can so your scrap yard is much more happy and they will probably give you a higher price if you gonna take in uh, you know much cleaner materials and and I'm 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 gonna try my best that uh, gonna take all all this chunk off from here so it stays it's 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 a number to uh, copper because it have that uh, coating and uh, some uh, glue or stuff and and some these pieces over here but uh, it's uh, tightly tightly packed and uh, you can can uh, you you can have a quite a decent a decent money out of it. Now I'm gonna clean that mess over here and gonna bring up all our uh, scrap metal, our uh, plastic uh, chunks, uh, copper and stuff. What all we get here and uh, let's do some calculations and uh, let's see how much did we earn on that uh, microwave oven now I have cleaned up everything and put those almost all those things what we get out from that microwave and uh, this is what we got. We got a uh, two kilos of junk. We ain't gonna get any money off it. Uh, Eight point fifteen kilos of uh, scrap steel. One hundred and eighty grams wire, aluminum, copper, low grade parts, motors, relays, and switches. What are over here? and that microwave weighed about 13 kilos if I turn it in, in as it is I would get only 1 euro and uh, 69 cents but as we scrap it, scrapped it now uh, we get 3 euros and 54 cents this is how it all looks like these are the prices per kilo and this is what we got we will get a uh, two euros more if one of that coils that turned out to be aluminum if it was copper we will get two extra euros but, yeah, aluminum is also good, but it is not worth so much money than copper is. Well, thank you for watching, and if you like that video, please give a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.